Hey guys, it's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial and today the team over at Hive have asked me to share with you some of my tips within Illustrator. If you don't know what Hive is, Hive is basically a creative online network where you can learn things about design, you can collaborate with people, meet new creatives and find work. It's an amazing website, I'm on it and it's basically a place where we can just connect and you can connect with other creative people and get inspired. So make sure you go and click in the description and give it a try. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create some awesome seamless patterns within Illustrator. Here I've got a medallion and I'm going to be showing you the core principles of it. After you've learned the core principles then you'll be able to do it yourself in no time. So I'm going to go ahead to the artboard thing here and create a new artboard. The first thing we need to do is create some guides. And the best way to do this is by going to the line segment tool on the left, making sure your smart guides are turned on in view, go down to smart guides and press command or control U. And then we're gonna just hold shift and bring out a line. I'm gonna make sure the stroke is about one point so I can see it. I'm gonna highlight the stroke, horizontal and vertical align it to the artboard so it's exactly in the center. I'm gonna press command or control C, command or control F to copy it and paste it in front. Press E to go to my free transformation tool, hold shift and transform it to about 90 degrees. So basically rotate it 90 degrees. That's all good, we've got two strokes there, but we need to convert them into paths. So I'll highlight both the strokes and press command or control five, and it'll highlight them and make them into paths. So it's a really fun way of doing it. Okay, so press L to get to your circle tool, and we're gonna start off with the circle. Go to the center of your document and bring out a circle like so. Make sure the stroke points are up to two, and then press V to get you to your selection tool. Highlight the circle and make sure it's exactly in the center of the document, just like so. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shape or a star. So I'm gonna go ahead and to my circle tool here, hold it down and go to my star tool. Hold shift whilst you're expanding it up, and you'll see a stroke of a star. Press shift and X to change the stroke to the fill, and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit by pressing Command and Plus. And I'm just gonna scale that down a bit like so. Make sure that the star is exactly in the center of the artboard. If you don't know if it is, highlight the star and press the horizontal line there. Amazing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this star goes all the way around perfectly. And the way to do this is to highlight the star Press R to bring up the rotation tool. Hold Alt or Option and go to the center of your document here. By the center, I mean the basically the point of where the two guides meet and press down whilst holding Alt. You'll see that this little box will come up and this is a rotate dialog box and we need to change the angle to 20, make sure preview's on and you'll see that the star's moved. Press copy and it'll copy the star over. Now Illustrator is really fun and easy to use in this way and to create that effect again many more times all you need to do is press command or control D. So I'm going to keep pressing this and you'll see that it's just seamlessly going ar around the circle. And we can add more to this by pressing L, create a little circle here and just move that up a tiny bit like so. And then press R again and completely do the process again. Hold Alt, press down, 20, copy. Press Command D and it'll all go into the middle of the circle. So that is an amazing thing there. Another thing we can do is we can scale things the same way. Over here, you can see that I've scaled down this little pattern thing here. So I'm just gonna scale down the circle. I'm gonna hold onto the circle here and I'm gonna go to S. And when we're selected the circle, we'll see that the circle selected and we need to hold alt and do the exact same thing again press into the center make sure that your scale and uniform is at 95 percent make sure you're on preview and then press copy and you'll see that it's copied it but scaled it down by five percent and press command d and you'll see that it keeps getting scaled down amazing and that is how you create some seamlessly awesome patterns within Illustrator through just a few clicks of the button. This will save you some real time. That's all I've got time for, so thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to go and check out Hive to kickstart your creative career.